Hey guys, Matt Allen, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bass. And building on this holiday recommendation series, uh, we wanted to jump in and talk about swim baits with you. We're going to talk about swim bait equipment as well as our top five bait choices. Uh, not necessarily super high end baits or super low end baits, but these are baits that are your best bang for the buck nationally. Baits that work everywhere, come in at great price points. We just have a ton of confidence coast to coast. These are baits that get it done if you want to build confidence and catch swim bait fish. Uh, let's start with the gear. Why don't you start with rods and then I'll jump in right behind you with reels. Yeah, just like the last, the previous video, we're going to do kind of a, a lower price point and a higher price point. Uh, right off the bat, man, it's hard to beat the Dobbins Fury 795 swim bait rod. I think it comes in at like 110 bucks or so. For, it's a great, great universal rod and do a lot of things on it. If you want to get go towards a little bit higher end uh, price point, I would go with the Loomis 956. Again, it's a more it's a universal rod. You can throw pretty much everything, uh, pretty much all the big baits on it. So yeah, that's a cool rod. It's just it's a rod that does everything. Right. You know, you're you're spending a little bit more money to get it, but you can do everything with it. Um, pairing those up. Two styles of reel, not really different price points, but two very different styles. And we'll link you both of these. The Calcutta is a round reel. The Corrado is a low profile. That's a preference thing. So uh, if you're buying for somebody in your life, you do want to take a look at their gear, see if they use round reels, see if they use low profiles. Uh, if you're going round, the Calcutta is a hard to beat reel. This is my day in and day out reel. I have a pile of these use them constantly, they last for years and years and years. If you're going low profile, Corrado 300E, this, when these first came out, they were just phenomenal. And the E series has been uh, removed from the line years ago, but they kept the 300 because it's such an insane reel, it works so well. It's still in the lineup, they've still got them in stock. Just, a, just an awesome reel. So we'll link both of those for you. Uh, Jumping into baits, we're going to start small and go up from there. Uh, why don't you just start into that? Yeah, you guys know uh, one of our favorite baits. I mean, you can catch fish all throughout the country on the Kitek. You know, it could be the 2.8 all the way up to the 5.8. But the Kitek is great to throw on, on single swim bait heads, on A-rigs, ball heads. Must have swim bait in your arsenal. Yeah, and that's the Kitek Fat Swing Impact. Yeah, Fat Swing Impact. Uh, my next one would be, here, take that one. My next one would be the Osprey. Uh, full body tournament talon, comes in a six inch and a seven inch. Not necessarily a, a hugely popular bait, coast to coast, but in my opinion, probably the most underrated swim bait. If you're gonna go lake to lake to lake to lake and you need a bait that you know they're gonna eat, the six inch and seven inch tournament talon just gets bit. It gets bit everywhere. Uh, so we'll give you a link to that. We'll even give you a color, a couple of color suggestions for that because they come in a ton of colors. I've messed them up on that on lots of lakes, <laughs> spots, smallies. That six inch Osprey is an awesome bait. Uh, the next bait of choice is going to be the eight inch Huddleston. Uh, ROF 5, ROF 12. Depends on what kind of water you're fishing. You're fishing shallow or deep. I'd go with the 12, shallow go with the 5. Um, that has to do with the, the rate of fall. But uh, the 8-inch Huddleston, I think the guys back east are finally learning. Finally latching onto that bait. They're, yeah, they're seeing what this bait can do. So we're getting pictures of some pretty big bass being caught back east on this thing. So the 8-inch Huddleston is a must-have in your tackle box. Yeah. Next one's going to be the S-Waver. Uh, two sizes. Uh, the big one, the 200. And then the size smaller, the 168, uh, both just phenomenal baits. If you're fishing nationally, the 168 is a killer. If you're trying to get a big fish, the 200 is the way to go. We'll link both of those. Again, we'll give you a couple color recommendations. Right off the top, we both know the answer. If you can only own one color, it's light trout. And we don't care if you're fishing in a lake with trout. A lake that's a thousand miles from trout, it doesn't matter. It's they a, eat light it's trout. It's an ugly color, but it, dude, it works. It. I don't know why the yellow works, but it works. 
Um, and that's a that's a phenomenal price point too. The the waiver is a very inexpensive glide bait, and it catches big fish. Our last pick. We talked a little bit before we fired up the camera. We thought, what is the most underrated high end bait? What's the bait where you can spend a little bit more money, get somebody a really nice bait? And without spending a ton, get your absolute best bang for the buck. And we both agreed it's a Gancraft Magnum, the 230 size. I wouldn't even say underrated because when these things came out, they were so hard to get. It's Hundreds true. Of dollars it's true. Them. So I wouldn't even say, I wouldn't use the word underrated. Maybe forgotten. Or forgotten. Le yeah. They, they work great. That's a bait you don't hear about a lot anymore. It's getting thrown less and it works just as well as it used to. If you want to get somebody a really nice bait, it just flat works, awesome S action. It's a glide bait. That's the way to go. Really, really nice choice. Again, we'll give you some color recommendations there as well. We wanna keep this simple. There are a lot of baits on the market, but that's not what this is about. These are baits that we are very confident in saying, we don't care where you fish, these will work. Uh, and match them up to these rods, depending on your price point and your dial. We hope that helps you guys. Uh, is there anything you want to add to that? Yeah, ladies, this video is for you too. You know, this, the whole point of this video is for to make this easy, simple for people shopping for fishermen to go out and buy the right stuff. Right. We know it's really hard to shop for fishermen. It's 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 like speaking another language. So this is here for you down in the video description. There's going to be links to every single one of these items. You don't have to go out and search for them. It's all going to be right there. It'll take you right to where you can buy them. We hope that helps, and we'll talk to you soon. Have a good day, guys.